Guys, today I have just received this Pokemon mystery box, which I have no idea what is inside. Hopefully we got some vintage stuff. Hopefully there's some cool stuff, but we're going to crack it open in today's video and have a look at exactly what is inside this box. I'm excited. You guys should be excited. Let's get into it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing well. First and foremost, big thank you to everyone who has shown support on the channel recently. We are so close to 4,000 subscribers. So if you do enjoy this content, be sure to join the Charizard gang and also smash that like button. You guys are killing it with the like button at the moment. So be sure to try and hit over 150 likes. Do it right now. Hit that thumbs up. You done it? Thank you. You guys are the best. Let's get into today's video. So as you can see right here, I have a mystery box. I've kind of taken out my address so uh, you guys know privacy and all that kind of stuff. But it says to Poke Dean. as I said in the intro, I have absolutely no clue what is inside this. There could be some modern stuff in here. There could be some vintage stuff in here. Um, I, literally, I have no idea. It could be packs, p cards, anything. So as the saying goes, it is a mystery box. What is inside here is a complete mystery. But we're going to crack open into it. Now, obviously, let me just be careful why I speak because I can't multitask. Okay, right. There we go. Let me get into this bit before I speak. But anyway, it is the 16th of um, February, which means Shining Fates comes out in three days. Guys, I'm so hyped for it. I'm so excited. Hopefully, I can get my um, hands on it as quickly as possible so I can open content for you guys. But... I'm so excited to hunt for the shiny Charizard V Max. You guys know we're the Charizard gang. We need to try and get this. By the way, I'm opening this up so badly. Um, shout out to. There we go. I've, I've kind of ripped the box a bit, but we've we've sort of got in there. Okay, I finally got it open. Um, but as I was saying, I'm going to try and hunt for um, the shiny Charizard V Max uh, and many many other cards from that set. I'm genuinely so hyped for it, and I just can't wait to. Um, oh, we got a note here as well. It says, "Read me." I can't wait to start the hunt for all the shiny cards in Shining Fate. So, let's have a look at this. It says, "Read me." So I'm going to put this to the side real quick while we get into this letter. So. Let me just move this box a little bit. It says, Hey, Poke Dean. Firstly, love the channel and your passion for Pokemon. Being great to watch. And if anyone's watching this new, why are you not subscribed? Hey, I appreciate that. As you know, I recently started selling a EX Pokemon employees 200,000 Pokemon card collection, which led me to build my website, mattcully.co.uk. I wanted to give you a sample of what we have to offer on the website, mattcully.co.uk. Uh, I hope you enjoy them. Make sure to leave the Bulba Pro sleeve cards till last. Okay. All right. I'll try and remember that. Leave the Bulba Pro sleeve cards till last. Got it. Um, it's been a pleasure getting to know you and cannot wait to have a guest on my channel for some pack openings and Pokemon TCG chat. Peace, Matt Cully Pokemon. So guys, if you don't know, Matt Cully is another Pokemon YouTuber or PokeTuber. Um, definitely go check him out. He has a Pokemon store which he sells Pokemon cards so first and foremost shout out to you Matt for sending me this I really appreciate it I can't wait to um, have a look inside your box but as you guys can see he has a store right here um, I didn't actually know this box was from him because I am expecting something else as well but this is his store right here. It's uh, mattcully.co.uk. As you can see, he sells singles, bundles, graded cards. I don't think he's got uh, any yet, but it says coming soon, as you can see. But definitely, guys, if you're looking to buy some um, singles and some Pokemon cards, go check out this website. Such an array of Pokemon cards from vintage to modern. Um, look like this. Look, po Blaziken EX. Look at this card. It looks insane. Three pounds as well. Um, and he also, the good thing about this, it says the condition. So excellent. He'll, he probably has a, an array of uh, condition cards so some of them may be a little bit more like heavy play or excellent near mint all that kind of stuff but the good thing about it it has a clear description it says the year the set the card number if it's a hollow if it's a promo um, and then also the good thing about this is you can really see if there's any kind of like nicks or whitening or kind of just evaluate the card for yourself whether you're happy with the condition of the card and all that kind of stuff so if we click here as you can see it's got a tiny bit of wear and tear still good condition though um, there's just a little bit of white dots on the on the edge but other than that overall that's a good quality card and as it says ex excellent right there and three pounds so definitely go check him out guys like i said um an array of pokemon cards you literally can get so many cool cards on this site um like for instance i'd love to get that blaziken there's a blastoise ex right there you've got a charmander right here all different sorts of sets um from watsy to modern and definitely definitely go check it out so if you want to check out the cards there's the website you guys know what to do but let's get into the rest, let me move my mouse, the rest of this video. So we've read the note out. Once again, thank you, Matt. I appreciate it. He said, leave the Bulba Pros 
sleeves till last. So I've got that. I'll remember that. Okay. And guys, if you are enjoying this so far, please smash that thumbs up. Wow. Okay. We've got a little package here. I'm just going to take everything out of the box first. Um, and then, oh, that is it all. Okay. I thought there was something underneath it, but we are ready to go. So I can put the box down. And this is what we've got here. Now, Matt, I've got to commend you on your, um, <laughs> your ceiling. It was impossible to get into that box. I can't lie. <laughs> but this seems a little bit more easy. So I'm, I'm happy with that. So let me just crack this. Okay, whoa, we got loads of stuff in here. Absolutely loads of stuff. Loads of different cards by the looks of it. Here's his um, card, really cool business card, as you can see. Pokemon, vintage, graded, sealed, Matt Cully store. Um, go check him out. There's all the stuff you want to check out. His information. Okay, so save the Bulba Pros till last. That isn't a Bul Bulba Pro. Okay, oh, I can see him at the bottom. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do it this way. So I don't, um, I don't, oh my God. Oh my god, this is going to be lit. I haven't opened old cards in ages. This is sick. Okay, I'm going to keep it like that so we don't spoil anything, you know? So, um, let's get into the first thing. Okay, so, got ni nicely sleeved up as well. Yo, this the presentation is impeccable. I love it. Okay, so we got Underground Expedition. Look at this card. Now, you guys are going to have to let me know from um, the sets because... There's, there's a period where I wasn't collecting Pokemon cards. And so unfortunately, I just don't know all of the sets. But look at this. It's got the Pokeball stamp as well. Just really, really beautiful. Up next, I'm going to put this down here. We have... Ooh, okay. Look, we got a League stamp card. Professor's Letter. So you got these cards from competing um, in like the TCG tournaments. In like actual, like real life. You go to the events. And uh, I think you would be able to get these cards. I can't remember if you had to win or if you just turned up. Um, but it's really cool that you get this really like unique Pokemon League stamp as well. So that's really cool. So we get a Professor's Letter. It's a Reverse Hollow as well, which is beautiful. Up next, we got a Dimensions Valley. I'm a little bit zoomed in. I'm going to zoom out a little bit for you guys. Um, another League stamp card, which is a Reverse Hollow. The Reverse Hollow is really cool. It's like a, it's like a scratch sort of thing. It's really sick really like these um up next oh my goodness look at this supporter card copycat reverse hollow is that like the play pokemon um tcg play stamp as well that's amazing that's really cool so another stamped card we have a uh, beeb or bebe search even look at that that's beautiful as well i'm absolutely loving these reverse hollow trainer cards up next we've got hound doom is that a reverse hollow I think that's a reverse hollow. So we get a reverse hollow hound doom. Just had to check that because uh, it's quite hard when in the sleeve. Just kind of like in a cave. That looks really cool. Yo, apologies if this video is really long, but I genuinely want to take my time with this. Like, I love mystery gifts. I love mystery packages. And I love just looking at old cards that I've never seen before, you know. We get a whirly peed with the stamp as well. That stamp is sick. And I actually really want to like try and play uh when when the world's back to normal try and like get involved with these sort of events and stuff i think it'll be really fun as elf uh, up next one of the mythical pokemons with the stamp as well beautiful card absolutely stunning i just chinned my mic but it's all good we've got steelix up next with the with the stamp as well what set is this from guys like honestly the artwork is impeccable it's beautiful it's unreal okay and then we have oh yo we get a snorlax reverse hollow with the, the Pokeball sign in the background as well. That is beautiful. I know a lot of you guys are big Snorlax fans. I, I remember asking you guys what's your favorite Pokemon. And let me know in the comment section if you're new what your favorite Pokemon is. But a lot of you said Snorlax. And he's stolen all of the apples from the kitchen by the looks of it. And then, oh my, we have, yo, is this from Supreme Victors? We have... A Dragonite, and I literally, in my last video, if you haven't checked it out, I'll link it above when, and in the description. Um, I literally bought a pack off Randolph in his Supreme Victors box break. We get a Reverse Hollow Dragonite. That is amazing. Look at that. That's sick. Yo, I'm going to put these back in the sleeves because I don't want these to get damaged in any way, shape, or form. So once I've put them in or taken them out, they're going straight back in. And once again, Matt, thank you so much for this. I'm absolutely loving this. I'm absolutely loving this. And if you guys want to get your hands on these sort of cards, be sure to check out his, his store. Like I said, look at this card. Oh my God, an e-reader. Is this an e-reader? It's an e-series or e-reader card. It's just, I think it's basically the same thing. But I've never owned one of these cards before. This is this is what's the error, guys. Hold on, let me open these up. These are packaged perfectly. 
absolutely perfectly. Okay. So we're going to open this up. Let me get a bit closer. So we have a juggler who's just juggling some Pokeballs. Look at this. It, that is... I should actually show you guys the condition as well. I forgot. That's beautiful. For a Watsy error card, that is in such good condition. Such good condition. I'm not going to lie about it and say it's perfect. Look, there's a little dink in the bottom left. But when, you, when it's like this old, to get a card in this like quality, perfect. We have a... I'm going to put this down here. Up next, Pokey Park. Pikachu, uh, Cyndaquil, and a Chikorita. Look at the artwork. It's like from one of the old games. Oh my god, it hit him on top. Look at this artwork, guys. I'm actually just like, I need to zoom out a bit. I'm getting a bit too close. But I just want you to see the detail. I want you to see the detail of these cards because they are so good. Hit him on top. Perfect. It just feels like perfect condition. Genuinely. Look at it. Unbelievable. Up next, we have an how a Hound Door. The pre-evolution of Hound Doom. Really nice. Ooh, okay. We get a gold duck. Look at the artwork. This is just a trip to the past. I'm absolutely loving it. Absolutely loving it. These are just vintage cards at its best. We get an Apom. Absolutely beautiful. Drowsy up next as well. Look at this. And if you know the set as well, I, I can't remember which set is it. Um... There's Exploration, isn't there? There's Sky Ridge, and there's another one, I believe. Let me know. Let me know. We get a Mill Tank as well. Look at that. Oh, just beautiful card. Beautiful card. And then we get a Kangaskhan as well. Look at it. Just looking in the distance, like, just contemplating how beautiful the world is. Look at it. What a card. And let's just look at the condition again, guys. Look, that is as good as you're going to get. Genuinely, look at it. Look at it. Unless you were someone who literally packed the card, put it in two sleeves, and then put it in a binder and never touched it for the, the, <laughs> the next 20 years. This is as good as you're going to get. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love vintage cards, man. And oh, we get oh, these are my first ever like E-series cards. So I'm so gassed about that. I'm going to absolutely put them in my collection and look after them with all my protection. Anyway. That's probably the really bad English there, but we move. Next up, we get some more. No way. Yo, this is sick. I'm gonna try and speed through it so it isn't massively long, but still, I don't want to, I don't wanna like not appreciate this because this is like amazing. I'm so grateful for this. Moo Moo Milk. Remember, we have Moo Moo Cheese in um, Vivid Voltage. So interesting. We got Moo Moo Milk and now Moo Moo Cheese. Energy Restore, look at that. Just like such a simple card, but the artwork is incredible. Incredible. And these cards are perfect. Like not even dented, nothing. Like genuinely. We get a Ghastly. Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar always have the sickest artwork. And this is no different. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Then we get a Pidgeotto. Yo, look at that. So this is a different set from the E-Series um, because it's got a different emblem. Let me know what pack one was and pack two was okay we've got pidgeotto there oh my god a kadabra so if you guys remember kadabra cars stopped getting printed because of um yuri geller he he sued pokemon for saying that he's they were copying him but i think he's actually recently taken lifted that um that whatever the ban or whatever you want to call it so pokemon now can actually produce more kadabra cards because you never see them anymore an Electra Buzz. Oh my days. Look. Just tearing up some wire. Oh my god. I'm going to slap the light up. It, may, it might make me a bit brighter. But still, I want you guys to see this. Then. Oh my goodness. A Dragonair. Look at these Pokemon cards, man. Yo, I'm actually just like... I don't know if you can just see my smile right now. I'm genuinely just like smiling. Because I'm just so gassed about this. Then we get a Poliwag. The Claymation. Look at that. Looks so realistic for a claymation. This is amazing. This is actually so good. Next up. Oh! <laughs> Yo! Yo! Charmander. This is my favorite card so far. By far. Look at this. Charmander. Matt, you legend. You absolute legend. Like I said, hopefully we're going to do some videos in the future. Charmander. Oh my god. That's my favorite card so far. Oh my, yo, he's done us, he's done us, oh, <laughs> Matt, you didn't have to, bro, two Charmanders, what, look at this, 
Look at this. I might have to get these graded just for the story. Just to be like, yo, my first ever e-reader cards or e-series cards. Are they from the same set? They are as well. So there's two different artworks from the same set. One is 97 out of 165 and one's 98. Look at that. Two different um, artworks or two different illustrators. And that is amazing. Yo, let me sleeve these back up. Two Charmander cards. Look at that. Oh, man. I'm actually just like... Guys, I hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, be sure to smash a like. And be sure to check out Matt's store, man. Like, he didn't have to do this. This is from the goodness of his heart. And uh, he has an amazing store. I'm genuinely so impressed with it. The cards on there are amazing. Like, you're not going to... It's going to be very hard to find those sort of cards normally. So, be sure to check it out. Anyway, next pack. Okay, I'm seeing the Bulba Pro cards. So, what I'm going to do... Not look. And I'm going to flip them. Hopefully... I'm just going to check that. Okay. Okay. There's like, I can't see the back of that. So that's fine. There's something there, but I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to hide it, uh, give it away. Okay. So we have two energy packs here, which we're going to open up next. Hopefully I've done that right. Hopefully I'm not giving it away, but you know, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil anything. It's always hard, you know, but Matt did give me precise clues and, and instructions, you know, so we get a, a cyclone energy. Look how sick the artwork was in the past there, man. Like, just look. Just appreciate it. It's amazing. Underground Expedition again. Or is that... Was the other one exp Exploration? I can't remember. But very similar card. Beautiful, though. We get a Miracle Sphere. Friend Ball. We get a Machop. A Shower Nellis. I know we'll love this card. Love that. We get a Growlithe. Shower Mini Minter. That is sick. I might have to show him that one. He'll be gassed about that. We get Heracross. Yo. Amazing. OG. Oh my god. Look at the artwork on this Houndor. What? That is beautiful. That is absolutely stunning. We then get another Kadabra. Literally. For some reason. Yo, shout out if you watch South Park. This looks like, like a scene out of South Park. It's like the very same artwork in my opinion. Very similar. Like, let me know if you know what I mean with that. Then we get far fetch. Look, just chilling. It looks like he's just chilling in a little lagoon, you know? Just got his leak and just having a good time. Yeah, I can't believe it. This is incredible. And then we get a Lapras. What? Look at this artwork, man. So these are all different sets from the E-Series. So we'll probably have Expedi Expedition in here. Um, maybe Sky Ridge. And I can't remember what the other one is. So let me know, guys. I need, I need your, um, I need your Pokemon knowledge. Help a brother out. Okay. So that is the third pack. We'll put that back in. Keep that nice and sealed. And we'll put that over there. And we still have two more packs. We actually still have two more packs. Now these look like different sets. These don't look like e-reader or e-series sets. But we're just going to jump straight into it. Be as careful as possible. So, we got a boost energy here. Very nice. Oh my god, rainbow energy. What? Look at that. Like, what? Incredible. We then get a Foratress. I get this all the time in Pokemon Go, can't lie. Uh, we then get a uh, Donphan. I think it evolves from a Fanfi. Looks like it's about to charge into battle by the looks of it. We then get a Combuscan. Revolves from a Torchic and into a Blaziken. Look at that. That's amazing. Oh, wait, are these pop series cards? Are these pop series cards, guys? Can you let me know? Because the emblem here has a number. And some of them are like series three. And then this one has a, a two. Oh my god, an Ivysaur. What? Look at this card. It's just in the field. It looks like it's about to do like a solar beam or something. Or a stun sun stun spore. That looks incredible. And then we get a Pikachu riding a Whelmer. What the heck? See, this has a 5 next to it. Can you see that? I don't know if this is these are Pop Series cards. Because I've never opened them before. But, amazing. A Pikachu and an Ivysaur as well. Incredible. Let me check the condition for you guys. See, look. Look. Insane. Absolutely insane. We'll sleeve these back up. Oh, got stuck to the sellotape. And then we have one more pack before we get into the Bulba Pros. Guys, if you have made it this far and you are enjoying this video, please smash a like. I want to set a new target. Let me actually set a new target. Can this video hit 200 likes? 
It has to. It absolutely has to. This is an amazing mystery box. Smash that like button. And if you are new and enjoying it, be sure to subscribe and join the Charizard gang. Anyway, next pack. Wisma. Let's crack it open. Uh, this is literally sealed to perfection. I can't lie. There we go. There we go. We got it. Got it in the end. Take these out carefully. Okay. Wisma on the front. Here we go. A Chim Echo. We then get a Beldum. Very nice. That's a promo card as well. Are these all promos? Oh, they are. Wait, are these hollows? No, that one's not. But here is. We get an Axew. Holographic. By the way, the hollow pattern in um, Supreme Victors in yesterday's video, if you haven't checked that out, is like one of my favorite hollows of all time, like hollow patterns. As left, look at that card, man. Look at that promo card. What? Can you guys see the shine on that? Let me take it out. Oh, you know what? Let me just see what's next. Oh, my God. Look at that. Magmortar. Holographic Magmortar. Insane. Absolutely insane. I'm so oh my god! Typhlosion Primal card! Are you mad? I wanted this card. I've actually wanted this card. Matt had no idea. No one knows I, I wanted this card. This is one of the cards I really wanted to start collecting. And Matt has sent me a Typhlosion Primal card. Are you dumb? What? Matt! Thank you so much, my man. Oh my god, look how sick this card looks. I have a I have a primal card. This is my first ever primal card. Yo, I'm going to put that in a Bulba Pro for sure. I'm putting that in a semi-rigid. I can't believe it. I absolutely was not expecting this. I'm actually just too gassed. I'm actually too gassed. I'm speechless. Guys, flipping hell. Flipping hell. Guys, go check out his store. Go check him out. Honestly, thank you so much, my man. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that to the side because I'm gonna put that in a I'm gonna put that in a Bulb Pro. Primal Typhlosion. What the heck? Oh my god. <laughs> Gee, oh man, I'm speechless. I can't even put these cards in the sleeve. I'm actually shaking. I'm actually shaking. I'm actually sh I can't I can't do this, guys. Here we go. We got them in. We got them in. And that's <laughs> That might not even be the best of it. There might, there's still more to come. There's absolutely still more to come. Okay, put that there. So, these are the Bulba Pros. Now, he had them the other way around. So, I'm guessing, you know what? Let me just sleeve this up before I forget. It won't take too long. It won't take too long. We'll put it in this real quick. In it goes. In it goes. That is that is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. We'll slap that there. All right, okay. So, Matt had them the other way. So, I'm guessing this is the best till last so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take them out from the bottom okay so let me let me zoom. do i split screen it i think i think i want to get you guys the the best view as possible so we're doing it like this all right here we go let's flip this three two one boom whoa oh my god a staff pre-release card bucks training i've never owned a staff card before a pre-release staff card now these staff cards sorry these cards could be very rare for in the future purely because pokemon have said that um as of now i don't know if it's temporary or permanently they're not doing any more staff cards so they may do it in the future but for now they're not doing these so these are really rare cards so we get uh, this is my first ever staff card what the heck amazing okay we'll put that down there we'll move on to the next one here we go three two one Oh my god, an Oricorio. I know Matt put this in there just for me to try and pronounce this card. Sun and Moon staff card again. Can you see at the bottom right there? Staff? Look at that. Oricorio. Hopefully I said that right. But that is a pronunciation and a half. But look at this. Look at this. Insane. Absolutely insane. Another staff card. What the heck? Thank you so much, man. Okay. Then we have... Three, two, one. A dragon net. What the hell? Championship card? Staff championship card. Guys, you seeing this? I'm, I'm gonna need a story. I'm, I'm gonna need a I'm gonna need a background on what, what this card and how you got this card because 
I'm willing to bet because it has that stamp. There was a certain reason or a certain way to get that. Let me put the brightness down a bit. I'm looking a little bit too light. But anyway, staff card, Pokemon Championships. What year is that? Doesn't say. But Dragonair as well. Look at the artwork on that, by the way. My Lord. Very, very majestic. And in sick condition as well. Beautiful. Okay. I don't know how many we've got left, but I'm absolutely... This is one of my favorite videos of 2021 for sure. Here we go. Next card i think this is the second to last card as well three two one bam oh my god a dark venusaur winner what oh my god oh my god a w so this must have been you must have only been able to get this card if you won the tournament in the, playing a tcg tournament a dark venusaur look it has a best stamp Winner stamp. Oh my goodness. What the heck? Oh my god. Look at this card. A dark Venusaur as well. Look at the artwork. Winner. This I've never I've never owned a card like this before. And I have it now. So thank you so much. I'm gonna absolutely look after these with my life. Dark Venusaur. Flip. That is Matt is really saving the best till last. I can't I can't cap. Okay, I don't know. He's obviously got his business card in here. I don't know if this is a card or anything, but we're just going to flip it and see what it is. Last card of the video, guys. If you've made it this far, please smash a like on this video. Like I said, the new goal, 200 likes. Can we hit 250? Like, let's just smash it. This is a huge video, a massive mystery box. And uh, let's see what this card is. Three, two, one. Okay. Okay. He's put his card here. Obviously, I did see it, but I didn't know if it was hiding it or not. So... I'm going to take it out and then flip it again. But this is sealed. This card, whatever this card is, is sealed. So let me do that. Let me put this back in. Okay. So once again, guys, if you want to check out his store, Matt Cully's store, um, it is all his stuff's there. Literally, it's all his stuff, his stuff is there. MattCully.co.uk. Go check him out. Go check his store out. Honestly, like I said, the, these are the type of cards you can get on that store. If you want to try and find some of the old stuff that you used to collect, stuff like that, go check it out. Here we go. Last. Here we go. Here we go. Last card of the video, guys. It is nothing other than a... Whoa! What? A 20th year anniversary Pikachu card. What? That is insane. And it's sealed. I don't even know if I want to take it out, you know. I really don't know if I want to take it out. We get a Pikachu 20th year anniversary. And we're in the 25th year. So this is five years old. Insane. Thank you so much, man. Look at this. Look at that card, man. It's got the stamp as well. So these are the sort of cards that we could potentially be seeing this year. Genuinely. These are the type of cards we could see with a 25th stamp. So guys, keep on, on the, keep on the lookout for these. Genuinely. Oh my God. What a video. Honestly, what a video. Guys... If you have enjoyed this video, please, please, please smash a sub and a like on this video. Join the Charizard gang. It, like These are the type of videos we're going to be pumping out on this channel. So be sure to stick around. And once again, a big thank you to Matt for sending this awesome mystery box. I've opened a few mystery boxes on this channel. And this is definitely up there with one of the best. I've loved every second of it. And it's just been incredible. So once again, guys, if you want to help support out the channel, check out the memberships down below. Smash a like on this video and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. We are so close to Shining Fates being out. I can't wait to hunt. For all the shiny cards with you guys and i'm planning a brand new box break for you guys i'm not going to reveal just yet what it is but hopefully i can get it sorted and be sure to join my discord where i will be revealing it and also i'll be revealing it here on my youtube channel and social media such as twitter and instagram so just go follow everything so you have a chance of getting involved but i'll see you in the next video guys thank you so much for making it this far i appreciate it you guys are the best i love the charizard gang and i'll see you in the next video but until then i am out